Web design is one of the best high income skills you can learn right now. And it's actually easier than ever to get started making money as a web designer. I've been a web designer for the past three years. And in this time, I've gone from charging $500 for a website to consistently booking projects at 10 times this. And you don't need to have any coding or prior development skills to do the same thing. The quickest way to get started is to learn one of these no code website platforms. You might be thinking, why would a client pay me to build a website on one of these DIY platforms they can use themselves, let alone pay me thousands of dollars to do this? Well, it's very simple. They're paying you to save them time and make them money. You save them time by doing the work for them and you make them money with the strategy behind the website. There's a simple formula that makes up a great website and gets people to buy it. And once you learn this, you become very valuable to the right clients and you can take this and apply it in whichever website platform you choose. If this is all new to you and you want to learn more about this formula and how to structure a high converting website, then there's some resources in the description that you'll definitely want to check out when we're done. So whether you're building your own website or you're thinking about offering website services, in this video, I wanted to give you the rundown of each of these platforms from easy to hard with the pros and cons of each so you can choose which one is best for you. So with that in mind, here's what I look for in a website builder. First up is quick workflow. I want it to be quick for me to create any design I need because the more I can streamline my processes and cut down the time it takes me to create websites, the more money I make. Which leads me into number two, which is I want to be able to curate designs. I want to build up a library of designs that I can quickly pull from so I'm not starting from scratch in every new website project. Three is easy to use for my clients clients because that's definitely a priority for the type of clients I work with. Four is technically sound, load speed, SEO, accessibility, things like that. Five, I want the ability to create templates. And once you run out of time in the day for client work, then selling templates is a great way to build a more passive income. And lastly, there needs to be great support. I want there to be lots of tutorials and resources online to help me if I need it. So let's get started. First up is Squarespace. Squarespace is by far the easiest platform in my opinion. You can create a website in one click with all the basic structure and features already there and ready to go, including a lot of advanced features. They've just added the ability to create courses. They have email marketing. You can even sell product. It's not going to be as good as Shopify for e-commerce businesses, but for a small store, so less than 10 products, then it works. And for these smaller stores as well, it's far easier to customize the design in Squarespace than Shopify. So it really is a great all round platform to offer your clients everything they need. Because this platform is so structured, this does mean that you have less control over the design. But honestly, I've been really impressed with the developments in the Squarespace Builder recently. You can really do a lot with the design just in this builder without even needing to customize with CSS. So all around, this is a really solid platform. Next up, we have Shopify. Similar to Squarespace, you can set up a website in one click with all the structure and advanced features that you need for an e-commerce store. Now, I debated whether to put Shopify on the easy end or the hard end, because on the one hand, you can very quickly get started on Shopify with no prior skills. But to really make the most of this platform and book higher budget client, you will want to learn to customize with code. This is because Shopify is more limited design wise. Even to add custom fonts, you will need to add these with code. To give you an idea of what's possible with Shopify, these websites were created in Shopify, but to create something like this yourself, you will need to learn CSS, possibly some JavaScript and Liquid, which is Shopify's own code language that all its templates are built on. Promise you it's not as scary as it sounds. And if you do learn just a small amount of code to be able to customize the design in Shopify, you will become very valuable to your client due to the fact that it's harder to customize the design so not everyone can do it. And it's also the leading e-commerce platform out there. Some of the biggest e-commerce stores like Gymshark or Kylie Cosmetics are still using Shopify, which makes Shopify design a very very high value skill. But even without these skills, you can start to create very nice websites straight away without any code. You can grab a premium template like these and just include this in the price for your website services. And this will allow you to create a very nice website pretty easily. So you can start doing this right away and then slowly learn Shopify and build your skills up over time. Next up, we have Showit. Now this is a less well-known platform. Showit is a no-code platform that integrates with WordPress for easy blogging and SEO. If you're familiar with design programs like Figma or Illustrator, or even Canva, then show it functions very similarly to these and it's going to be very easy for you to pick up, which is what makes this platform very popular with photographers and other visual creatives. I do often find though that I can recognize if a website has been built on show it because it doesn't have that basic structure and functionality that is set up for you in Squarespace. You have to do all of this yourself and so it's very easy to miss things. For example, this website, they've been able to be more creative with the design than other platforms, but it doesn't function well 
about I can't close this menu here and it just feels a little more DIY. So this platform is technically the easiest to use but because it's so customizable and it lacks that clear structure it's easy to create beautiful websites but it's also very easy almost too easy to create a very ugly website that doesn't function well. This platform would also just be for service-based businesses. Technically you can integrate a Shopify checkout into show it but I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than a very small store selling a few digital products on the side. If you're creative though and you already have a good eye for design and you're just looking for an easy to use platform that allows you to create a website exactly as you envisioned it, this platform is a good option for you. So next up we have Framer. This was only launched last year and this platform is very similar to show it in that if you're familiar with other design platforms then the workflow in Framer is very similar and so it creates the ideal workflow for designers. You can see it almost looks exactly like Figma in here and you're even able to copy and paste assets directly from Figma into Framer. Again, this is a very flexible platform design-wise, so you will benefit from a good understanding of design layout to make the most of this, but there are some templates that you can utilize and overall it is a lot more structured than Show It. It also has some AI features and there are really nice assets and responsive layouts. There will be a small learning code to get familiar with these, but overall, I think this is a very clean and simple platform. It's also becoming a lot more popular now, so it's a really good opportunity to learn this and even start creating some templates for it while it's still growing. And so last up, and in my opinion, the hardest platform to use is Webflow. Now Webflow has been the favorite no-code platform amongst business owners and agencies for a while now. It's called a no-code builder, but honestly, I would call it low-code. It's gonna be a steep learning curve if you don't already have a good understanding of HTML and CSS. Even as someone with this knowledge, I still found myself screaming in frustration trying to navigate Webflow. It is a nice platform if you're working in a team with a developer or for more complex website builds for larger companies because you have the ability to do almost anything, which again adds a lot of complexity to the platform that is probably unnecessary for most clients. So is the steep learning curve worth it? Unless you're coming from a development background and you're more familiar with code, I'm not convinced. Even a lot of agencies I know are now moving from Webflow to Framer. So let's review all these platforms together. If you're getting started, Shopify and Squarespace are by far the easiest to get started on. Although it takes a bit more learning curve to create completely custom designs, it's also very difficult to create an ugly website on these platforms. They have all the structure and layout there for you, so you don't have to learn this and set this up yourself, which is what makes them so beginner friendly and quick to get started. There are benefits to all of these platforms though. Show it is gonna be the most flexible design-wise. Framer offers the ideal workflow for designers used to working in Figma, and Webflow is best for those coming from a development background or collaborating in a team of designers and developers. And then in terms of tutorials and support, these all have great resources online. Even Framer, which is a much newer platform, has a Discord server where you can go and ask questions. And there's a very enthusiastic community around Framer right now. So all of these being more popular platforms is in your favor here when you're getting started learning these. The other thing to consider is that Squarespace is a favorite amongst clients because it is just so simple and easy to update. And this is really important. When I'm pitching my services to clients, they often say to me, look, I'm happy to go with it, whatever platform you recommend, but I just need it to be easy for me to go in and update. And Squarespace is by far the easiest platform. And then in terms of creating templates, the cons of Shopify and Squarespace is that creating templates is not as easy. And this is definitely something to consider because when you're working with clients, sooner or later, you're gonna hit an income ceiling. You don't have any more time fit in any more clients. For me, working with clients is a means to an end. I'm using this high income skill to make money right now but eventually I want to be able to transition the majority of my income to more passive forms of income. So in terms of creating templates, Framer, Webflow and Show It templates are all easy to create and sell online. The things that you'll want to consider are that Framer has the most potential as it's the quickest growing platform right now. There's also already a very large market of Webflow templates but it's still a good option and Show It templates are incredibly easy to create and share but there is a smaller audience for these. On the other hand, while it is possible to create and share Squarespace template, there's no way to automate this process. You have to literally go in and transfer the template over to your customer every time, which is just a bit of a hassle. Then to create Shopify templates, this is far more complicated. You really do need advanced coding skills to be able to create and 
sell these. And so regardless of which platform you choose, my advice to you would be to pick one and stick to it. That way you become far more valuable to your clients and you can really start to streamline your workflow. Then once you've picked your platform, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is to learn the formula of a high converting website. At the end of the day, the most important part of any website is not the platform, but the strategy behind it. There's a very simple formula that makes up a successful website, or in other words, the series of sections that you need to get people to buy. And once you learn this, you can take it into whichever platform you choose or even into your own business. So if this is all new to you and you're unsure about copywriting or web page structure, then definitely check out the website copy templates below. These provide the perfect foundation for your website design with all the different pages and sections that you need for both a services and an e-commerce website laid out with copy prompts and examples. These are the templates that I use to get all the website content from my own clients. I send them these templates in their client portal in Notion and then they fit in each section and I just help them finish it off and put it into the website design. The second thing I suggest you do is build out your library of designs within your chosen website platform that you can easily pull from to speed up your workflow. I think a big mistake that a lot of designers make is thinking that to create a great design, you have to start completely from scratch every single time. But really, if there are basic foundations that make up each website and you're spending time creating these again and again from scratch with each project, you're just wasting time. And this is time that you could spend making each design even more unique and putting in the small details that really make a website stand out. And of course, the quicker you can deliver projects, the more money you make. And so I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments which platform you decide. And if you like this video, then my next video is gonna be on how to get your first clients. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that.